Central Dallas Ministries and all the people who have invested in you to see this kind of return on investment is gratifying and exciting to us. And we want you to know how proud we are of you. Everybody says, and it is true that you all are the best class that we've had so far. I got a hint of how good this class was going to be when it was freezing outside and y'all showed out the truck showed up for trial. And and I met you probably a couple of days after that and asked you all if you were going to continue out the rest of the way. Uh, obviously just about all of you met. Me. And so it's good to see you and, and let me share with you that this is more than about a job. This is this is preparation for your career. Everybody who's invested in you so far, John, uh, Andrea, Jan, every organization. Matter of fact, if you look at the back of this program, if no one's ever invested in you before, that's a list of people who thought that this opportunity and you were important enough to invest time, talent, and treasure. So that's right. you don't ever have to say again that nobody believes in you because that's a list of people who believe in you enough to give whatever was necessary, whatever they gave, to make sure that you have this opportunity. So. Uh, I am proud of this moment. You know, there's a verse in the Bible, I can't remember exactly where it is, that says, man who is diligent in business will stand before king. And that means that if you if you just do what you're supposed to do, there's no telling where God will take you. Amen. All you have to do, all you have to do is make sure that no matter what, what obstacles are in your way, no matter what challenges come before you, do what you've done this past 12 weeks. Do what you're supposed to do and watch what God does for you. Uh, since, uh, since Dan told the story, let me tell one and then I'll be through. Because I think that, it, I think that it, it has something to do with perseverance. And one of the things that I always remember, we've got Larry James, who's our CEO and president with us, and Steve Palmer, who's our new CFO. He's trying to teach us how to operate hey, John, my business. And he's trying to teach two preachers that <laughs> they that you can't run an organization like you run a church. But, uh, it's a rough go-to for him, I tell you. <laughs> he actually had to sell his job at CDF. But, but this part of the story is from Steve. It's a story about Thomas Edison. And some of you all know him as, as the inventor of the light bulb and the phonograph and whatnot. Uh, Edison, who's, who's with all his patents, actually had more failures than he had successes. Uh, we just remember him for his successes. But the one story that I remember was that he had a fire in his laboratory that literally destroyed everything. And all of his experiments, all of everything that he was working on went up in flames. He got up when he saw the fire and he called for his son and he told his son, he said, come, come look at this, call the fire department and come look at this. And he said, after you call the fire department, call your mother because she'll never see a fire like this. And they gathered around and they watched as the fire department tried to put out the fire. They couldn't save anything. Everything he had been working on, all the experiments, everything was gone. And his son was worried about it because he believed that his father was going to be devastated. This time he was old, he was up in age, and the idea of starting over is probably something that old men really don't do. And so he was concerned that he was going to be distraught and devastated. Edison walked through the ashes saying, we can rebuild, we can do better, it gives us a chance to start over. On the ruins of this laboratory, we can build a new one, a better one. And so he was excited by the prospect that he had a chance to start over. And then there was one thing that was left. There was a, there was a little table that he had done experiments on. He pulled his coat over him, climbed up on the table, and got ready to go to sleep. And he said, by the way, does anybody know where we can find some money? <laughs> Never let anything stop. <clears throat> Things are going to get tougher. It is going to be more difficult. The classes that come before you, are going to, after you, are going to have more challenges than you even had. But if they see you not giving up and they see you continuing to persevere, it will encourage them. I promise you it will encourage us. It will encourage those people who have invested in you already. And it will remind all of us that this is worth it because we're preparing you not just for a job,